I'm Brenda. Welcome to my channel, The Empress and the Sun Tarot. This is a monthly reading for Gemini for the month of May 2023. So please just take whatever resonates and leave the rest. This is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Um, or North Node, we should say. Um, <laughs> so you see, or North Node. So um, please just take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, we welcome cross watchers. A cross watcher is somebody who's watching for um information on another person that's not your sign um it can also be just you know another aspect of where that energy is in your chart what you have um in that in that house so um we are going to um get started so he says so we hope everyone is having a great day gemini um this is for the month of may Gonna take the top two, she says, and you get current of emotions, and that's uncontrolled feelings, and then you get conscious steps. So um, that looks like some some action forward for you, Gemini. And the bottom of the deck is the freedom card. So wonderful energy with that. And then we're gonna get a couple of cards for the um, from from the Sacred Traveler deck. Uh, <laughs> so he's got a lot of energy flowing today so um through me so we are just um getting us out the best we can so we hope everyone is um doing well and then we are going to get um two cards from this deck as well you get great adventure take risk to venture forward and then you get the card of protected by angels you are you are protected. You are cherished by the angels. And the bottom of the deck is grounding. So very good energy for you, Gemini. Um, go ahead and explore your roots. Always a good idea. And then we will um, pull um, a Celtic cross to see what's going on for the month for you, Gemini. And then at the end, we will get a few um, cards from the... Um, Romance Angels. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a little tongue-tied today. Seems like there is a lot, um, a lot of energy trying to flow through. Um, a lot of messages coming quickly. Gemini, that's definitely an energy that you can understand that um, energy. Um, and we and we feel like that is a great energy um, for currently with you. You know, gaining the clarity on what steps and what things are best for you and what steps. Um, you need to take to bring yourself to to the freedom of your own personal happiness because until you you have the conscious steps to self-love that you know is going to really so he's like you know that self-love you know she's sitting there and she's gaining the clarity of her self-love and how you know and, and truly So he's always been about self-love is such the key um, to your freedom to, you know, make, make this, this whole, um, this whole excursion a lot easier. Um, so Gemini, what's, what's going on? What great adventure are you taking this month? Um, and the current energy is the hangman. So definitely some enlightenment um, per, in, in the mix for Gemini. So definitely seeing things from a different perspective. Um, From the five of wands. Sometimes, you know, that chaos and conflict, we have to pull our energy back and just be like, hold on, what's going on with me? Where where am I getting this vibration from? What is this message? Where is it coming from? Um just right here, feel feeling the feelings and figuring out what what is causing that feeling and when have you had that feeling before is gonna bring you the victory you need over that. Um to, to have the conscious steps of what you need to do. And so he's like, the conscious steps are definitely working more towards being balanced, grounded, that self-love. Um, and we feel like immediate future is, you know, this page of cups, which is communication. And we feel like this could be etheric communication. We feel like this can be communication um, just with your higher self, that heart chakra communication, that, that new communication of feeling of, Okay, this this is the guidance from my heart. That's from my higher self. Hold on. Wait, hold on. This is 
this is my higher self telling me that this is a good thing for me. It feels really good. It makes me happy. This must be the right path. It feels so good. Um, so great news on that. Um, and, and Gemini, if you thought it wasn't possible for you to have a heart chakra activation or you to have that, you know, new tender love feeling again, don't, don't think that it can't happen. It can come back and, and be very wistful and happen and really surprise you as, as you decide to see things from a different perspective, maybe in not such a five of wands kind of energy, but a more balanced, grounded, you know, higher perspective energy. You're, you're going to be surprised at the, the level of love that can be showered upon you. And the headspace is the five of swords that, you know, chaos, how, and, and we feel like the current energy is how do you overcome the chaos? And we feel like we, as you're on this great adventure, you're going to really um, have some connection um, with your angels um, on the, in that time. So just know, um, spend, spend time being grounded. And we feel like that's, that's when that, um, that situation can occur um for a better word um <laughs> on the beach being grounded make sure you're spending time being balanced and grounded this month gemini it's going to be so key for you um in this current energy um you know in that earth energy sometimes it's a little harder for you um with that being in such a solid solid form so just take some time to really um, listen to your spirit guides and and follow the inner guidance that, that's coming from your heart. So just like don't don't let that that five of wands five of swords beat you up because truly as you have that self love that is the conscious step you need to take. She's like the self love that is the current environment you know. And, and that, you know what that's going to do? That's going to bring everything full circle for you back around to that joy and that delight and that happiness and ending that cycle of the chaos. Are you ready to stop having the mind chatter? Are you ready? Are you ready for this great adventure? Are you ready? Are you ready for the freedom that comes with that? The tower <laughs> is the hopes and fears card. We feel like that's saying it's going to happen and it's going to happen while you're gone um, on this adventure. Um, as you've been, you're working to take these steps. We feel like this is like a progression. As you're working through these things, boom, it's going to just like click all at once and be like, why am I not just picking the you know, thing that I enjoy that's fun, that's happy? Why am I not doing that? Why am I not being, why am I not honoring my joy? And that is the aha moment that is coming. You're, you're going to figure it out, you know. The self-love is truly the key. As you love yourself, other people are going to reflect that back to you. The underlying energy is the page of swords, the page, uh, or the knight of cups, the nine of pentacles. And the death card, um, and she says we're pulling one more, um, the Empress, because because you are manifesting this. Um, and she said this transformation is happening through this lunar eclipse happening um, May 5th and 6th. Um, that is in Sag or that is in Scorpio. Um, it is this, you know, axis right here of Scorpio Taurus. So um, we feel like huge change is coming for you, Gemini. After, um, as you're doing this work, once you get to this eclipse energy, it's going to be like fast forward on all this major arcana stuff. We feel like through this eclipse period, you're going to really figure out, you, you have to let go of the mind chatter and embrace your self-love. And then we are going to get a couple of romance angels for you, Gemini. We are really excited, um, that this transformation is happening. It's definitely being divinely guided. We have the hanged man, the judgment card, the tower, the we, the world, the death card, and the empress. So definitely very divinely guided. Currently, Gemini, just just be open to um 
to loving yourself. Just like to love yourself. If we could tell you anything, that would be the one thing we would tell you to love yourself. Keep an open mind. Um, your soulmate may differ from your usual um, type or expectation and let your friends help. And that is ask and accept for support from others. And it is safe for you to love. And you know what, Gemini, the, the person that needs to love the most, you. Gemini, love yourself. We, we are inviting you to, to take that, um, make the effort today to spend a little time loving yourself. What can you do to love yourself a little more today? Think about it, Gemini. What could you do? Hope this message reaches you well and you have a great day. Much love. Bye.